Hello everyone, I'm Lauren Andrego. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The 6th ranked St. John's and 10th ranked St. Thomas football teams meet this Saturday for their annual rivalry as Target Field hosts its first ever football game. One week after their first regular season loss since 2014, the Tommies got back on track, crushing Carlton 63 to nothing. The undefeated Johnnies have outscored opponents this season 203 to 21. I'm joined today by head football coach Glenn Caruso, running back Jordan Roberts, and wide receiver Luke Iverson. Guys, thanks for coming in. Exciting no, week this week. Yeah, no. So coach, like I mentioned, St. John's is substantially outscoring its opponents this season. So what are the keys to slowing down the Johnny's powerful offense? There's a lot to it because they're hitting on all cylinders. I mean, all three games that they've played this year, uh, they've had very few flaws and, uh, and very few bumps in the road. Maybe uh, I don't think there's any interceptions or fumbles. Uh, their special teams is, uh, is hitting on all cylinders, and their defense, uh, is their, their starters have not allowed a point. So they've been pretty effective with the teams they've played, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we're going to have a lot of things that we have to do to try and slow them down. Um, but that's because they do a great job, and they're a complete team. Surely. And Jordan, on the other side of things, the Johnny defense has only allowed 86 rushing yards this season. So what have you noticed is the most difficult part of breaking down the St. John's defense? Um, they're a great defense first off, um, great team overall, but they're very athletic up front. Um, their defensive linemen are very, very fast, very athletic. Um, their linebackers are a little bigger this year, but they're athletic as well. And um, they're very solid in the secondary as well. So. Um, we're going to have our hands full, um, but we just got to come right at them and um, just be the best we can be. Absolutely. And Luke, when you're at Target Field looking up for a catch, the horizon is definitely much different than what you're used to at O'Shaughnessy Stadium. So what are your particular concerns as a wide receiver for compensating for the different environment you'll be in? Um, no doubt it'll be different, a lot bigger envi environment, a lot bigger crowd. Um, but as to you know the sun, the way the sun's hitting the field, depends on which side you're on the ball and whatnot, which side you're going. Um, it'll be relatively the same. I think you're going to have to psych out. All of us receivers are going to have to psych out a lot of the, the noise in the crowd and uh, maybe the pressure. Um, but no doubt, um, I think we should be ready. Right. And coach, like we alluded to, it's estimated that more than 35,000 people are going to be watching at Target Field this right. Saturday. So what will be the biggest challenge, do you think, in playing in such a different environment with such a larger crowd than usual? Well, getting familiar to it. And look, it's an enormous crowd. And for us to be able to provide a home game with that type of crowd by moving it to Target is uh, absolutely phenomenal. I think the fact that so much interest has been shown is a testament to the fact that it was the right call. But I do think getting into the rhythm and flow of the game, it's going to feel different, no doubt. Um, but I'll tell you, it's uh, once you get into the game and you're locked in and the team that can do that quicker and mitigate the anxiety and the differences are probably going to be in pretty good shape. But once you're in the game, uh, not as many differences as everyone would like to, to probably recognize. Um, I would say maybe different in many ways for the fans more so than the players. Certainly. Yeah. Thanks. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Jordan and Luke, junior Joey Perry wants to know, if you could play Tommy Johnny in any professional stadium, which would you choose and why? I know it's a big question, but whoever wants to start. Um, sure, I could take it. Um, you know, that's a tough question. I think playing at Target Field or U.S. Bank in you know, my home city, our home city, close to uh, our fans and some of our family members, and. Um, I just think it's a very cool opportunity to play in the home city. So I'd pick either of those two. Nice. Yeah, I'd say probably the same thing. Um, you know, the majority of our team is from the you know, Minneapolis-St. Paul area, and we have a lot of family members and friends that are around here, so I would choose either one of those as well. Cool. Coach, anything that pops out at you, anything? Target Field, they're the ones that asked us. And uh, like these guys said, it's four or five miles away. So when you have a location like we have here, why not take advantage of it? No doubt, Target Field. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys once again for coming in. Good luck this weekend. We're looking so forward to it. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much. If you have a fan question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. And be sure to keep following Tommy Media all week for full Tommy Johnny coverage. With Glenn Caruso, Jordan Roberts, and Luke Iverson, I'm Lauren Andrego. We'll see you next time in the locker room.